Hi guys, John Moore with you again. And I know I said I wasn't going to do one before Christmas, but I just got carried away. And uh, I said I'd strip one of the uh, models I wasn't happy with, which I did. I stripped the uh, Panzer III. Um, base coating was grand and it was just that when I did the uh, sort of a green stripey camouflage. When you looked at it from a distance, it was grand, it was perfect, it was lovely. But when you look at it up close, you can see brush strokes and things. So I wasn't happy with it. Um, like I said, do you know what I mean? Uh, since I got the airbrush, I'm, they look they, they look a bit better. So uh, I decided to redo some of the older ones. Um, this one came out so I was so happy with how it came out that I decided to do a little die off for it and use some figures that I hadn't used. And um, that's it. I'll just give it a little tour off here so you can have a look. Um, I will say one thing. If you're ever going to strip a model, stay away from the death hall method. Crikey, Mike, the model still stinks. But um, it, it it works. It does the job. It it, it does take the, um, take the paint off the model. But it's just so hard to um, to get it right again and get rid of that stench of it that uh, I don't think it's worth it. Um, there is another method which I've uh, to try out. It's um, using methylated spirits, which, I, which I, I'm going to try in a figure. <laughs> don't, don't try on a, a model. Um, another thing about the... Um, the hairspray method, or not the hairspray method, what am I talking about? Using the Dettol to strip um, paint. Uh, don't use the um, rubber vinyl tracks. For some reason it doesn't like them and it kind of disintegrates them. Yep. So, anyway, uh, this is a little Panzer III that I did in Africa course style. Um, thrilled with how it came out. Um, After disintegrating the tracks, I went looking in my parts box, and uh, Simon Kemp uh, sent me a pile of uh, bits and pieces there at one stage a couple of months ago, and there was a couple of vinyl tracks in there, because he said, oh, you like vinyl tracks here, you can have my old ones. And this set was inside of them. Well, they're actually a set of, of a Panzer IV, because they were a bit too long for this. I had to uh, cut and melt. Uh, they were fabulous and if you look closely at them if I can uh, probably lift that a little bit they're actually hollowed out um, guide horns and everything else and they're, so they're lo love for, for vi plastic vinyl tracks they were definitely the best I've ever uh, used um, they were lovely uh, I don't think they were Tamiya's I'd say they were more Dragon or something like that because the quality of them was absolutely excellent but anyway um, so if anybody asks me what kind of tracks there, I haven't the faintest idea. All I know is that they're rubber, the vinyl rubber tracks. Um, the chipping and the weathering in this uh, came out lovely. Um, I use a couple of techniques where you uh, sort of I, I give it a dark wash first, a couple of dark washes and things, uh, so it changed the colour of it. So therefore, when I went over it, then where the scratches are, I used the base colour around the scratches so it looks as if the paint is kind of old and chipping in, 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 in some areas and it just blended as it blend, as the other colours went on and other few washes and other little bits and pieces that I've tried um, it just all blended in nicely uh, using different uh, rust pigments here um, I actually used earth pigments and then coloured them with the uh, rust stuff uh, the UMP rust wash which I find is absolutely brilliant it's a bit bright you have to kind of tone it down a bit but um, if you can tone it down darker in some areas it looks like older rust and then newer rust so you can get all the effects just by sort of using washes and inks and things and you can get lovely effects so that's my little Panzer 3 let's zoom back out again um,
like I said, I trilled to bits with uh, how it came out. Um, it was just a little something to do. And um, I think it uh, worked out quite well. Um, I was hoping to get a bit longer out of it, if you know what I mean. But uh, things being what they are, you can get stuck into a thing. And you can just sort of, um, it can take you five hours or it can take you five minutes. I mean, that was sitting there last night. Uh, it had just had its uh, chipping done and everything else. I said to myself, she'd be looking out perfect now on a dial. Because I just had it on the table and it didn't look right. Uh, so I just got out the board, stuck some stuff to it. Uh, did that dry overnight. Um, loads of PVA glue then. Got my fine sand mixture, poured it over it, uh, tapped it off, put the tank in place then and just heaped some more sand in around it. Um, I know I said I don't have room for dials, but we'll always have room for one more. <laughs> so anyway, lads, uh, that's basically it. Um, just something to do. Uh, no build dog or anything else because it was uh, previously built. So it was just a bit of painting and weathering, and to me that's the uh, that, that's the one bit I, I, I like more than the uh, build. Some people like building, some people like painting and weathering. I enjoy the painting and weathering. Oh, excuse me. So anyway, let's without any more ado, for a do, should I say. I'm off to find something else to strip and play around with. And uh, catch you up soon. I won't promise anything. Look after yourselves, and... Uh, Subscribe if you haven't subscribed. Don't forget to hit the like button and let us know what you think of this little one. See you later, lads.